Come on, come on, come on, come on, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, Butterfly. It is, it is. Boom, 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 boom. Fight for yourself Friday. We have finally made it to the end of the week. And baby, I have enjoyed coming in here so much with you all this week. Um, It's been fun and informative. I've got a lot of feedback this week uh, from folks. And I'm just enjoying it. I enjoy when I get feedback. That means somebody's watching. That means somebody's being encouraged. I got a phone call because someone is being encouraged. They're like, keep tagging me, keep tagging me, keep tagging me. But anyway, y'all, go hug yourself. Hug yourself, baby. When you hug yourself, you automatically produce a smile. You know, that's my thing. Huh? Them self-hugs, baby, they get you started every day, every morning. I promise y'all should add that into your routine. But on this fight for yourself, boom, 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 Friday, let's talk about it. We're going into the weekend, y'all. We're going into the weekend. We don't want to go into the weekend not fighting for ourselves. You know, Fridays are days when people get relaxed and laid back and chill. It's the end of the weekend for the nine to five was a lot of time, right? I want to encourage us to fight to maintain our dignity. Did you hear me? Fight to maintain your dignity. When I say that, I say that from a genuine place. Because let me tell you, a dignified woman... And a dignified man will act accordingly. And that accordingly act is because they've learned to love themselves. Mm -hmm. We are fighting for our ability to be dignified. There's so many times that we have situations that will make us want to come out of character. But once we've learned self-love self-respect, that nurturing, that supporting, that lifting, that gifting of ourselves, baby, we act in a totally different way. We act in a totally different way. We understand that everything does not need our energy. We understand that outside fights is not our problem. We understand that outside struggles are not our struggles. And we bow out gracefully. Dignity means that you bow out gracefully. So come on, walk with me for a minute now. Understand what I'm saying. When you learn to act as an adult who knows how to control yourself in situations that may, at want, that may warrant you coming out of character, that's when you know you have arrived. We may not always be in a situation where we're going to act, you know, where we're going to act like it's not a party. That's what, that's what dignity is. Dignity is going into every situation and being respectful of yourself. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Do you understand that? Dignity is going to in, into every situation that you are in. And respecting yourself. Right? You could be the life of the party without being the clown. Uh-huh. The life of the party and dignity is walking into a room and everybody know that you're there. Because you have already lit up the room before you even get to the dance floor. Right? If it's a situation... Where you are expected to get down on it, get down on it. But if it's a situation where you're expected to sit and be poised, do that. Do that. That's the fight. And good thing about it is, once we've gotten that dignity down, we don't have to fight anymore. Because we know how to behave. We act accordingly. We act respectful. Because we love us. We nurture us. We protect us. 
People say, oh, you don't want, it don't matter what people see. Just do you. It does matter. At the end of the day, it does matter what people see. You understand? Everybody don't have to know your business. You know? Some people lie down with dogs. As my grandmother would say, you're going to get up with fleas. But when they get up with those fleas, we talking about bad, bad situation. Now, we don't talk about, you know, just bringing it to the relationship realm. Bringing it to the relationship realm. A lot of people be places they have no place being. But they don't get up and shout from the rooftop. Oh, this sap sucker. This, 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 that, 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 that. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's uncalled for. Dignity is removing yourself from that situation. You don't have to browbeat anyone. You don't have to belittle anyone. You don't have to lowball the person. You just get up and remove yourself from the situation. Right? You get up in a dignified manner because we all fall. Sometimes we make bad decisions in these relationships. Well, we think, yeah. Some in these partnership business ships. When a business go bad, the first person they want to do is blame the front end manager, blame the back end manager, blame the blame the CFO, blame the CEO. You ain't got to do all that. Take your leave. And people always say that in some divorces and stuff like that. You look at the social media, you look at family and friends. One person just yapping, yeah, 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 and the other person is sitting back silent. The silent person, most times, is the dignified person. Now, I'm, I'm just telling you, do a focus group, you know, do a survey. They may be wrong as two left feet. But they're the dignified person. Because there's no need for all of that tearing somebody down that you once used to be in love with. There's no need for that. And if you're social media, they're going to drag the people anyway. They're going to drag your people. So let, you know, let that be. You don't have to answer. When people say, I ask for privacy, that's dignified. That's dignified. Fight for yourself Friday. And once you win that fight of being respectful, lovable, nurturing, protecting, lifting, and gifting yourself, you're going to walk in that. You're going to walk in that. That's not a fight you're going to have to keep fighting. That's not a fight you're going to have to keep fighting. You understand? And let me tell you something about dignified people. And let me tell you something about dignity behaving in that way. That don't mean that we might not get out of character if something um, tragic happened. Because we lose our composure, too. We still that same person. We still human. We still feel. We still bleed. We still hurt. But it's a way that we handle it. It's in a respectful way. We're respecting ourselves and trying our best to respect the other person's situation. You feel me? Boom, 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 boom. Fight for yourself Friday. As they would say, it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. And dignified people know how to do it. People with dignity. I'm going to stop saying dignified because, you know, sometimes people cross those lines. You know, but we're not crossing lines here. People with dignity, they know how to do it. And like I said, it could be, they could be wrong. But they don't have to act a fool and clown and be disrespectful about it. That's the thing. We don't have to be disrespectful about it. Y'all go on and hug yourself one more time. I want y'all to hug yourself in case y'all forget to do it Saturday and Sunday because I ain't in here to remind you. Go, baby. Oh, this has been a great week for me. I've had a lot of connections. Yeah. I am Butterfly the Book Baby. I'm in 11 time. 
published author. I am a motivational speaker, and I am working on my speaking abilities. Every time I come in here Monday through Friday, I try to slow it down and get it right so that when I step into a room, I can step in there and be, you know, the song said, dignified lady. Yeah, no. <laughs> Y'all go get your slice of pizza. It's comfort food. You know me, it's Friday. I do, you know, my comfort food on a Friday is fish, baby. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Southern girl. I'm from Louisiana. I like fish on Friday. Go on and get your slice of pizza. When that red gravy settle on your stomach, y'all, go on and get you some ice cream because ice cream make everything better. Uh, I, ice cream is the, mm, if they say the kiss, the kiss. I love ice cream, y'all. There's a thing with ice cream. I promise you, if if you just get into it, you'll understand what I be saying, y'all. <laughs> Once that ice cream finish selling, oh, it's Friday, baby. Oh, it's fruit Friday. It's probably a uh, friendship Friday, freaky Friday, whatever y'all call. But go on and get you another drink and drink. I ain't encourage your alcoholism, but baby, why not wind down? It is the weekend or rev up, however you do it. Get you some water, you know, apple juice, you know, whatever is pleasing to your palate. You know what I'm saying? Some ginger beer. I don't know. But this is your girl, Butterfly. Thank y'all for coming in here with me all week. We've done it. We've done it. We got to the end of the week. I love you because it's in my DNA. It's a agape. I'm supposed to and I'm willing to come in here and share it with you. So until Monday, until Monday, y'all be safe and careful out there. Y'all watch y'all surroundings. Y'all make sure y'all get it right, get it right, get it right so that we can get back in here on Monday morning, right? Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for coming in here with me. Yay!